Well, this looks pleasant. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to my new Let's Play series. I am Russell Son, and as I'm sure you can tell, <coughs> we're going to be playing the Hitman trilogy. Well, I'm going to be doing all three games, but I'm going to start from the beginning. And by the beginning, I mean the prologue, where they, which basically serves as a tutorial. Okay. Uh, so before we get going, I'm going to explain a little bit about this. So I'm sure everyone knows about the stealth, uh, the Hitman series. They're a stealth game where you try and complete missions. And the reason I chose it is because I'm going to be uploading each video as mission by mission, basically, as it were. After doing Tears of Kingdom, it's nice to do a more contained game, just as a change. So I'm going to be doing that. However... Because this first section of the first game is basically just a tutorial and there are three short training missions, I'll be doing them all in one for the first episode. So we'll be taking control of Agent 47, who is the bald guy there. I'm just going to explain this for everyone who doesn't know the Hitman series, who is basically a genetically engineered assassin, and the woman he was talking to is Diana Burnwood, who basically is our handler as it goes. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate, antisocial, apathetic and unresponsive. No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see the possibility of rather see imitation. Isn't that what Handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. So, this game has a running story that goes through all three games. We'll be exploring all of it all the way through, obviously, in addition to all the missions. Welcome. But this is going to be the first mission training, basically. This is a tutorial. It's going to be very easy to walk through, but there's going to be two other missions we're doing. Infamous Catbird, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target, and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember... As an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force gets you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. Yes, so as I said, for those who are not really familiar with the Hitman games, the main approach as previous tests have established, is to infiltrate, find the target, eliminate them discreetly, and then exit. Instinct is on R1. The main reason I want to do this tutorial is because it's been a long time since I've played these games, and it's probably a good deal that I refresh myself on the controls. So, Instinct is kind of like uh, Dark Vision, if you remember Dishonored. And one of the reasons I want to play this is to highlight the differences between the two games, because they are both stealth games. But this game has a bit, lets you actually walk around a bit more, and not everyone suspects you on sight, which is nice. Which is the kind of reason I like it a bit more. Then Dishonored, you can take your time and plan things out. As suspected, security won't allow you on board in your current outfit. We should avoid confrontation and look for another way in. Yeah. So, yeah. Obviously there's some areas you're not allowed in because of security reasons, that makes sense. But this, there's a disguise element in this game that's really fun. Alright. Yeah, sneaking is on R3. Hmm. That mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. I'm just going to knock this guy out. Right. 
and you can take his effort. <coughs> you put on his clothes. That's a first. Might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad initiate. You should. You're also leaving bodies around is a bad idea, so you want to hide them usually. And it's great to I'm not going to do this tutorial explanation too much, but for anyone who hasn't played these games, I'm just going to explain a little bit. Just for the first mission. That's the purpose of this. <coughs> As she said, some people are more observant than others. We're going to be getting to that in a moment. Yeah. You can save, but I'm going to try and avoid saving in between missions. Okay. As you can see, that white dot there. That mechanic with his back turned, he's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise, so stay out of his line of sight. Yeah. Enforcers or noticers, as I often refer to them as, they're basically just people who know their crew and they'll spot you and see through disguise. This one, all you have to do is just not stay in his way. It gets much more tricky as the game goes on. Start by locating your target. Right. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. Yeah. You're in. Instinct is basically like a form of clairvoyance. It's similar to dark vision or any number of other like detection abilities in hundreds of video games. But it's very handy. So there's our target. Calvin Ritter. Well, an actor playing Calvin Ritter. <laughs> Yes, this is too obvious. As you can see, a lot of targets will have a bodyguard that will follow them around. Sometimes you have to take care of them. Certain disguises will only get you into certain areas. Ah. Yeah, throwing items. Wrenches like this are incredibly useful. As you can see last time when I unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. Well, let's let Diana finish. Yep, and I'm gonna take this wrench. I think it's up to stow things, yes. Alright, as I was saying, um, as you could tell when I was choking the guy out, that takes time. But a blunt weapon like a wrench or that hammer, you can just knock them out quite quickly and quietly if you long as you're not detected. It comes in quite handy and it's something I'm going to be using regularly throughout the game as we proceed. And as you can tell, this is a guided mission, so I only I'm just gonna follow all the prompts. Yeah. So Ritter will no is another noticer. I'm just gonna Quick step up here. Yeah. There you go. Now that we're blending in, which in this case isn't very difficult to do, apparently, he won't notice us as long as we. But we're basically stuck at this point until something else happens. Fortunately, something's coming along. As I said, this is a guided tutorial, so I'm just going to be doing this as quickly as possible. There's a free training after this and then another mission. So just tail behind them. Again, as long as you don't do anything too suspicious, this game lets you get away with some, it's usually referred to as social stealth, which is just blending in. Not bad. Clearly, 
needless to say, we cannot get in through there. Fortunately, <laughs> yeah, I'm trespassing now, so and cover is another mechanic that is a good idea to make use of. As you see, now they're both noticers because they know I'm not supposed to be back here. All of this is... <laughs> the tournament does a good job explaining all this, but all of this is important throughout the entire game. Yeah, and patience is key in this game. This is another thing I like. This game is basically one big puzzle. Which is one of the reasons I like it a bit more than Dishonored, if I'm being perfectly honest, because that game can be a little more chaotic. So this will be one of the few times I'm actually using the pistol to to assassinate someone. I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's a good habit to get into. Hide the bodies of everyone you kill. Unless it's an accident kill. Also, it's not a good idea to be sneaking around in areas where there's lots of people because they'll get suspicious. So now we just casually walk off. Yes, as she says, that's the way we get out. Exiting missions is just as important as finishing your, off your targets. We're, cl we're clear for now, so I'm going to run to the exit just to save time. <laughs> Alright, and that's the first mission done. Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, Ellie, the done initiate. I guess my hunch was right, Ellie. I look forward to the final test. However, to be perfectly fair, that is the easiest mission in the game. It's designed to walk you through everything. This character is going to be a bit of a sinister individual, as you can tell as the game progresses. Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. As you can see, he's not very fond of us. Anyway. Welcome back, Initiate. Yes. As an ICA agent, Every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. Yes. Be watching. Yes, now we're into freeform training. So at this point, you can basically approach this game however you want. There's tons of weapons in here. That's an explosive mine, I believe. And this is a, a, there are coins here and the lockpick. I'm gonna take the lockpick and the coins. These are good for distractions. Just make sure to pick them up because you only ever get you only get a handful. In this case, three. All right, what else do I have? Right, just some basic equipment. Well, I can't go walking around with a shotgun or assault rifle, but if you really want to play Hitman that way, the game will let you. It does, however, punish you a little bit. All right. So. As I said, this is no longer free from training, so I'm going to try and do this my own way now. Yeah, I know. 
And this mechanic has got to get us on board before, so... So why change that? And once again, very important to hide bodies. Insight also lets you see enforcers. All right. I want to explore around here a little bit. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Emetic rat poison. Poison is very useful in this game. This is emetic poison, which means it's not lethal. It'll just make whoever drinks it sick. Lethal poison is also an option, but it does not always work out well for you if they if someone drops dead in the middle of a well yeah yeah uh, uh, just the middle of a, of a room or something. All right, I seem to have gotten a little turned around. Okay, yeah, the stairs are just there. Yeah, so All right, so that's my plan at the moment. We're gonna use some emetic poison. And to make the guy sick, and hopefully he will isolate himself. I say hopefully. I know for a fact that he this will work because I've done it before. This is a usual reliable method. As you can see, we're about to. Oh, yeah, I nudged that guy unfortunately, which can result in uh, can result in people becoming suspicious. So I'm going to try and avoid that. Yep, I'm just gonna take this around here and silent attack. As you can see, I can now poison this kid to the soup. All right, that's an illegal action. Just make sure no one sees you do it. And much like before, just hide the body. This time in an ice freezer, apparently. Don't, don't do this at home, anyone. He would almost certainly die. But the game lets you get away with it. All right then. Yep, something is going on. It lagged a little bit. I hope that doesn't impact anything. I can, uh... The other reason, the other nice thing about this is I can just redo the mission if I really need to. This crew disguise will also allow me to put emetic poison into his drink without uh, anyone becoming suspicious, because apparently that's something bartenders or kitchen crew in this case can just do. So. Unfortunately, there's two glasses of wine. Ah, fortunately, I was right. So now we just uh, wait. As I said, patience is key in this game quite often. Yeah, I completed a challenge, which in this case is just uh, not for human consumption, as you can see. the bodyguard precede me a little bit just because oh 
Oh, and by the way, no one cares if I'm going to go in here after him. Anyway, and, uh, ground! <laughs> Not a pleasant way to die. <laughs> but that counts as an accident kill. Okay, I'm just gonna hide the body just to be safe because it's a good habit to get into. And uh, there we go. That is the uh, target dealt with again and in a discreet manner. One last thing to take care of. Just gonna go in here for a second. And I'm gonna change back into my initial disguise. This is not critical, however, people tend, the whole people remember faces, not, that's right, this clothing, not the faces thing that Diana said at the beginning does apply to this game. If you change disguises, it can change your suspicion level. Which is important to remember, just in case things go wrong. But, uh, there we go. Once again, great work, Edition. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. Yeah, so you can keep coming back to do this training mission as many times as you want to try different approaches. Which are good to figure out for, you know, the rest of the game. I completed a few challenges here. Yeah, you can you've completed a reform training. I'm gonna move on to the final test. I could do that again, but there's not a real point. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You say that you mind? Places were dead end, but we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Mm. We'll keep digging. As you can see, there's a bit of mystery into 47's past. I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. <laughs> uh, it's curious to see which uh, <laughs> one he was saying Final that to. Test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous U.S. chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Yeah. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Right. Good luck, initiate. So, now we can... Intel is important, and the other thing to look here is... Opportunities. These are basically ways you can go about... Uh, preceding your mission, and they're basically preset ways that you can figure out. I'm going to so yeah, track this one. As you can see now, I have a bit of a waypoint marker telling me my next step. This is kind of nice. Sometimes I'll do these if they're interesting. Other times I'll come up with my own ways if none of them are applicable. And also, the other important thing is some of these opportunities are time sensitive. That will come up. Perfect. Yeah, we can also eavesdrop on this conversation. The first waypoint to the opportunity always takes you to the part where you learn the opportunity. Soviet fighter jet. But first, he needs to test the jet's safety features. Huh. 
Say you could somehow tamper with the ejector seat mechanism. You could presumably get Knight to trigger his own demise. Hmm. That might just work. So here we see another thing I'm quite fond of in doing in the, these in the Hitman games. It uh, that being accidents, which are also quite uh, useful in addition to poison. All right, now yeah, not as good as a wrench, but I'll take the hammer. Right. And vault over here because this is not an electric fence for some reason. pick up the coins. I have plenty of them. Alright, so coins are good for maneuvering people around a little bit. Alright, and now I want that hammer. Alright, just wait for this guy to move over here out of the view. Oops, I missed. Fortunately, I can smell the river from here. Yeah. Throwing isn't always the best option, but I thought I'd give it a try there. All right, airfield security. That'll get me in. I also picked up his gun. Uh, this is a minor point, but in some scenarios, the missions, they'll grow suspicious if they just find firearms lying around. And since I'm dressed as a security officer, I can actually carry a weapon on me, so it's fine. Yeah, as you can, one last thing I want to point out is uh, uh, some of these weapons have. Uh, just uh, come over here for a second. Uh, they have a detected during frisk, basically. You'll have to get frisked at certain security passes. Uh, but some some disguise doesn't get you through there without them, such as the security disguises. All right, it's lagging a fair bit here. This is the first time I'm recording on PS5, so that might be why. All right, I hope it's not going to cause too many problems. I don't think I'm going to need a medic poison, but... It's always nice to have. All right, so this is the safety protocol. Yeah, okay. However, they're not going to let me just uh, make adjustments to uh, a security, <laughs> a plane as a security officer. So I'm going to need to get a different disguise uh, wrench. Perfect. Fortunately, there's one right here. Alright, put him in there, and get his disguise on. Alright, I also picked up the wrench, which is I need to uh, adjust this ejector seat over here. So I will get right on that. Alright, All right. I think it's on the other side. Alright, I will hurry around to the other side. Yes, there's another wrench here. Oh, okay. So, there's... How's the mechanic today? Alright. So, I want to avoid him because he is a noticer. Alright, I'm going to try and make my way upstairs now to find the target. And get him over to the plane. All right, 
I should just be able to go in and talk to him. Because this is a security test that we have to run. Just for me. You gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Oh. Must be really, really dangerous. Well, it must be. It mustn't just be. Why else would there be a safety protocol? I'm not crazy about airplanes. Is it going to do that thing where it flips on its head? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Don't worry. You're a good hand. Um, this way. So are we doing this? Yes, we are. Yep, we must. Alright. So I just want to avoid that noticer mechanic, which means I'm just going to lead him down these staircase, which he should follow. Yeah. Alright. Let's just uh, initiate this uh, test. Again, as a tutorial, a lot of these are relatively straightforward. They do get more complicated as the game goes on. the trigger of the accident I've set up. Full ejection? Watch this, this is going to be great. As you can see, that was an accident kill. No. Yeah, I notice kills the other thing you want to go for. Alright. I could get my uh, disguise, my original suit back, but that's fine. I'm not compromised, I'm not even suspicious, so I'll just walk on out. Alright, end of mission. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. And you sound thrilled. <laughs> Last little bit here. Legend is born. <laughs> These are all, I think, meant to be various uh, missions from previous games. Yeah. 
Okay, as you can see, there's plenty of uh, opportunities here. <laughs> and this is what the game is going to be like going forward. None of these missions are in the game. As I said, I think these are all from previous games. This is going to be an important character going forward in this in the story. Alright! And with uh, that, we've completed the first mission. So, this is the main menu, I didn't show it before. But, uh, that will be everything for now. I hope you enjoy this uh, new uh, Let Us Play series I'll be doing. So next week we'll be moving on to the next de destination, which will be the first actual mission proper. That will be complete the tutorial. And uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe. And please join me again next time as we continue our adventures in the world of the Hitman trilogy, World of Assassins. Goodbye, everyone.